What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so before we start, there's a little bit of news. A little bit of a heads up or something like that. First and foremost, yeah, I recorded episodes 11 to 20 uh, a while back, yeah. And uh, right when I was about to render episodes 12 to 20, yeah, I found out that there was no sound, no background sound, and uh... <laughs> Yeah, it kind of it kind of put a damper on my thing. So I had two decisions to make: either restart the game over and come back to where I was on episode 11, or just continue on from 12 till on. And well, I chose 12 till on. I know, I know. Big major screw up, rookie mistake. I know. I'm learning, guys. I am learning. Now, other thing too. Yes, in the last episode, I may or may have not put uh, duck, the Toxic Storm back into the PC just because I thought I didn't need it. But thanks to this whole screw up, it made me realize that, hey, you know, I really do need Toxic Storm. So, welcome back to the team, Mr. Toxic Storm. Yeah, look at that. Toxic Storm is back on the team because, trust me, guys, I'm going to really need him uh, in the next few episodes. Now, it's time. Time to get the heck out of here because, you know, I've been here for quite some time and I'm redoing this all over again. So, here we are. Back out route what 110, and as you can see, the first thing you'll all always see is the cycling road. Unfortunately, we don't have any kind of bicycle, so we're gonna have to take the long road right here just to get to Mauville City. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, "What should I choose? Make a beeline for Mauville on the cycling road, or take the low road on the and look for Pokemon?" Well, if you have a bicycle, go to the cycling road, bro. That's all you gotta do. But since you don't have a bicycle, Take the low road, man. Try to find more Pokemon. That's exactly what I'm going to do because we are at a spot right here where we're going to get our next Pokemon right now. That's right. No, that is not our next Pokemon. Heck no. Hell no. I'm sorry, Puchiana, but no. Okay, so that's nothing right there. So let's just go go ahead and, uh, and keep on finding the Pokemon that we need to find. No, we don't need you, Wingle. Why would we need you? We already have a Wingle. As you can see, I already got, you know, I already got the, the, the coat or the, the ball on there. So, let's go. Let's continue fighting for this Pokemon right here. Because that's all we need to do right now. And, oh, no. But, would you look at that? It's a Gulpin. A Pokemon that will eventually capture off screen and all that fun stuff. Because, you know, we, we do that kind of stuff. We capture Pokemon. We want to make our capturing a lot better. So, there you are. Finally. Here we have... Our next Pokemon, Electric, the Electric type Pokemon right here. And yes, I know I have a Pokemon um, Swamp Lord that is immune to this guy, so I'm gonna try not to make this guy faint. And as you can see, it's just howling, getting its power up and all that stuff. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna throw a Pokeball right here. Let's see. All right, I got five Great Balls right now, so I should throw that. Let's go. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. No! That, yeah. And it's howling again, so I should probably, I should probably, like, just try capturing right now. So let me just go ahead and do that. Capturing. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball! He stayed in the ball. That's right. That is right, guys. So our next Pokemon on our team is Electrike right here. And as you can see, Electrike, the lightning Pokemon. It generates electricity using friction from uh, the atmosphere. In seasons with especially arid air, its entire body blazes with violent showers of sparks. Now, I got the perfect name for this Pokemon. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Mortal Kombat. And yes, it's pretty obvious of what I'm going to name him. That's right, guys. I'm going to name this Electric Raiden. Because he's pretty cool. Raiden is one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters. I'm just saying, and I can't wait for Mortal Kombat 11 because this, will, this is going to look pretty badass right here. So, welcome to the team Electric or Raiden. And uh, now the question now the question is, which Pokemon am I going to switch for our newly caught Raiden? So let's go straight back down. And, uh, well, it's pretty obvious, guys. It's very, very obvious. Who am I going to switch? And, uh, well, 
Let's just go in here, go right here, storage. Let's just move our Pokemon right here. So as you can see, I have plenty of Pokemon right now. I'm gonna get this Pokemon right here, our little Raiden. And yes, guys, it's very obvious. The Pokemon that we're gonna be switching our uh, Raiden to is Poochiana right here, our Shadow. He's done enough for today. I mean, I wanted to evolve him to uh, Mightyena eventually, but you know, it seems to be a while away, and yes, on my other recordings, I did evolve them to uh, to Mightyena. Didn't do us any kind of good because, yeah. But it is what it is, guys. Now, let's see. I just realized something. Let's see. Hold on. Do I have anybody with a cut right here? Probably. Okay. So in this episode right here, we're going to be taking on a few people. So I'm going to switch out my Shroomly for just today. I'm gonna put them right here and I'm gonna get rocket because there is an area right here where we actually need the cut technique so it's gonna be a lot of training a lot of battling all that kind of fun stuff because you know what it is fun it is very very fun so let's go straight up to where we need to be route 110 and uh, yeah look at that it looks like I'm twerking when I'm running look at that and uh, would you look at that huh professor birch oh Draven I imagine uh, imagine seeing you here and where might maybe? I don't know. She just went off her own or something. Oh, I see you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokenab had a match call system installed. Well, then, I should register you in my Pokenab as well. That way, even when you're apart, I can rate your Pokedex anytime. So there it is, guys. We're, we're getting phone numbers up the you know what. It's pretty cool, huh? He's like, Draven, please keep an eye out for my May. If you want her hand in marriage. You better keep an eye out for her, you sucker. Well, I had better go get going. See you, Dra See you again, Draven. <laughs> well, don't worry. I will uh, take care of my future wifey if you guys catch my draft right here. So, here we are. We got our first two contestants right here. And I'm going to start using Raiden first. So, let's go right ahead and take these guys on right here. As you can see, it's like, ah, I, it's like I, would rather, uh, I would go anywhere to show any my delightful Pokemon. And this person's like, when cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see a more adorable team, I guess. I don't know. Again, trying to read properly or anything like that. So here we have the Pokefans, Israel and Caleb, or Isabel, I should say. And they're coming out with their Electric-type Pokemon right here. Look at that. Plusle and Minum. Two Pokemon that, yeah, really, really, really don't like to battle because they always like to make us faint. Now, right here, yeah, Raiden doesn't have a lot right now, but, you know... I'm going to go ahead and tackle some Pokemon. I'm going to go mud shot this guy right here. And they're just going to keep on going with that mud, uh, the helping hand right here. And, uh, hmm. there's that mud shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? My noom defeated. That's right. I like that. How do you like that? And Swap Lord, you are a huge help to Raiden. Trust me. And there we go. Battling two plus holes right here, so I might as well tackle that plus hole and shoot that guy. And they're gonna just keep on going with that helping hand. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. They're gonna keep on helping hanging each other. So here we go, mud shot. Hopefully for the win. Eat it, other plus hole or female plus hole. That's right. And uh, look at that, Swamp Lord growing to level 21, which is good. It's good. It's good stuff. And. Uh, there's that other minium. Okay, all right, so we're taking care of business right now. Critical hits. I'm gonna go with you. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I don't wanna keep on hitting. If you guys don't know, you actually can hit your uh, your own Pokemon as well. That's something I don't wanna do right here. So, let's go. Same attacks, get it. Come on. It failed. Mud shot. There we go. And Plusle just got his butt kicked right there. And uh, Raiden, just go with the tackle attack, you know. You gotta, you gotta get an experience punch. Just let, just let Swamp Lord do all the attacks right here. There we go. Mud shot for the win. Hell yeah. Say goodbye. Look at that. And Raiden grows to level 14, which is good. Good stuff right there. And uh, Caleb has been defeated. Oh dear, this won't do. No, it won't. Have you no compassion or pity? Hell no. I just wasted like nine episodes for nothing. And yes, this lady's gonna give us her phone number two, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's move on. 
Now, the first thing you'll see right here is the Trick Master's uh, house. We will do a, 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 a separate episode on that one right there. And then the opposite way to Route 110. But we're going to go right here to Route 103. We've already visited the other side of Route 103. And what we're going to do first is we're going to battle... We're going to double team battle. Or we're going to tag team battle these guys right here. So let's go right ahead and cut some stuff. That's right. Let's go Rocket. And uh, which Pokemon should I use? Okay, it looks like he has a fighting type Pokemon. So I'm going to go with Swamp. Or I'm going to go with Toxic Storm and Gaia right here. And, uh, well, the return of Toxic Storm. What made me change my ideas, or what made me change my my mind on uh, on bringing back Toxic Storm? Well, in the process, I just thought that Toxic Storm was just going to be, you know, a one-time thing. You know, since I already have a Pokemon with uh, with uh, confusion and whatnot. But, as I probably mentioned to you guys before, yes, I actually, uh... When I actually continued on this adventure without Toxic Storm, I seem to have run into a bunch of Pokemon that, you know, I was very, very immune to. Or had no advantage to, so... Yeah, I needed a Flying-type Pokemon, guys, badly. And, uh, as you can see, ooh... Toxic Storm, a little rusty, but you know what? He's gonna hang on right here. Confusion, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use that Confusion on this guy. And Gust on that guy. Because, why not? Voltorb is just gonna charge. He's just gonna charge. But, like I was saying, Toxic Storm, I didn't really think I could, I was gonna need Toxic Storm in the long run. But it turns out that I'm going to be needing him for quite some time before I even make a Nick. Uh, another change right here on my team. And, uh, Gaia, let's go. Voltorb. Destroy. Oh. Well, let's use the Confusion attack on both these guys right here. There we go. And there's that Sonic Boom on a Toxic Storm. That was not good at all. So let's go straight to Raiden right here. Because Raiden, our new Pokemon, wants more battles. And here we go. Confusion attack. Nearly makes him faint. Nearly makes him faint. And it's confused right now. So let's just go again and uh, tackle everybody. Let's do it. And it doesn't hurt himself. Of course, Sonic Boom. Yeah. Takes automatic 20 points. So that's, that's a little too much, especially right now. We're just getting started. And, well, we defeat our two guys right here. That kid can rock. Exactly. We could rock. Alrighty. So, we got that taken care of. I'm just gonna grab this. The PP up. The Pokemon Viagra. And, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Grab all these things right here. Now, another, another thing that made me realize that, yeah, I need Toxic Storm in the long run. Happens to be one of my longtime YouTube uh, fans right here. Uh, quick shout out to Rat Racer 1994. May have gotten it wrong. Yes, he actually, yeah, he, he's usually the guy that comments on every single one of my videos. And yes, he hit the money, like he hit the nail right on the head with the whole Toxic Storm thing. So, thank you once again for the, uh, well, the constant advice right here. And uh, you know, keep on doing what you're doing, man. Just keep on giving me the, that advice. You don't know how useful it is, and oh my god, here we go. Did you feel a tug on our soul-soothing uh, soul fragrance? Can't even say that. Can't even say it quickly or anything like that. So here we go. We're going against, uh, up against Aroma Lady Daisy, and she's coming out with her Troomish. Now, I do, I really, really need my Pokemon right here, my, uh, my Toxic Storm. I really need them right now. I need them badly. And, uh, oh god. There's that Leech Seed attack that we just don't like. Oh, God. We don't like getting used that, or we don't like that getting used on us. All right, come on, guy. Let's do this. Do it for the bitches. And there we go. Shroomish defeated. Fatality. That's right. And uh, coming out with the Rosalia. Yeah, this is exactly what I what I meant, guys. I need, I need a Toxic Storm for this kind of Pokemon trainer because I guess... I guess I always run into that Pokemon trainer or those Pokemon that that has a clear advantage throughout my whole team or anything like that. So, yeah. And uh, there's that poison scene. Come on, do not poison me. If you poison me, I will destroy you. No. Tackle attack. Destroy. Fatality. And look at that. We grew, grew a good amount of points. It's good. All right. So I'm going to go back to the... Uh, Pokemon Center right here because yes, we don't need this kind of stuff right here. 
Yeah. So, Toxic Storm is going to be an integral part of our team for the time being. Until I, you know, decide to capture another Pokemon. Now, I could have captured, or I could have stuck with, uh, with Talo. Yeah, I do have a Talo. But, everybody, you see, everybody seems to use Talo. So, yeah, I'm not, not too, uh, well, I'm not... I'm not saying I'm not too fond of Taylor, it's just that, you know, everybody uses a lot of Taylor, so I might as well switch it with uh, Bug-type Pokemon. Hardly use any kind of Bug-type Pokemon on my teams anyways. Alright, Route 110, here we are, beat you guys, and, uh, let's see, we already beat you. Hello, hello? And we got two twins right here, so, let's see, I'm just gonna switch up with the uh, Gaia to Claymore right here. Probably because we're constantly switching up Pokemon, and, huh? Okay. Amy, I'm Amy, and this is my little sister Liv. We battle together. Okay, all right, bring it on. Just bring it. All right, so here we go. She's coming, or they're both coming out with a Plusle and Minum. They, this seems to be the popular Pokemon right here. And uh, well, let's go with the Mud Slap and let's switch our Pokemon right here because uh, again, we don't want to make a Toxicorp faint again. All right, let's switch it up right here. Swamp Lord, not gonna get hurt. Trust me, it won't get hurt. Alright, and there's that quick attack. Mud slap. That's right. Feel my mud in your face while you can't see. That's right. So, mud slap on you, mud shot on you. Kinda sounds like a Poke Porno. Sorry if this is a little inappropriate, guys, but kinda does sound like a Poke Porno right there. And here we go, mud shot. For the win! Bye bye, Munam. My noon, I should say. Alright. And look at that. Toxic Storm grows to level 15. Hello, hello, hello there. And, uh, let's go with that mud slap yet again. And yet, you still can't see. I am so sorry, not sorry. And here we go. Mud, sa mud slap galore. From the left, from the right. Plusle defeated. Oh, yeah, that's right. Honestly, guys, I'm getting way better results right here. And look at that. Swamp Lord, level 22, which is good. Very, very good. All right, so that's two of them done. And yes, they're going to give us her phone number just for another battle right there, which is good, I guess. And uh, wow. I don't know where this guy's like, my Pokemon is delightfully adorable. Don't be shy. I'll show you. All right, bring it. Let's do this. Okay, so Pokefan Miguel coming out with the Skitty. Still didn't capture Skitty yet. And, uh, well, here we go, Claymore. Let's do this. Oh, crud. Skitty. A little too fast. But Claymore! Let's do this. Headbutt attack. And, uh, that took a nice amount. But there's that double slap, of course. Claymore does have a high defense, which is very, very good. Awesome. And, uh, wow. The Skitty will not give up on hitting us. Five times. Five freaking times. So we go again, headbutt attack, and there is, uh, wow, he equipped his Pokemon right there. It's kind of cool, and uh, there's another double slap, because Claymore's not that fast yet. And, uh, really? Oh my god. Hit me ten times in a row. There must be a glitch. Oh, come on! Should have made this giddy faint. That's twelve. Oh my god, I'm so sick of those double slaps. I really am. And would you look at that. Eat it. And Claymore Gross, level 15 right there. And uh, Pokefan Miguel, not so happy. He's like, oh my gosh, my darling Pokemon! Yeah, that's right. You've been defeated. Alright. And uh, yeah, you're going to be giving me Pokemon. Or your phone number or whatnot. And uh, let me just move on right here. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, so this guy right here is panicking, I guess. So... Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon right here. I think he has a. I think he has a. I think he only has a Magikarp right there. So I'm just gonna go with uh, with uh, Raiden right here. And here we go. Ah, my my fishing line's all snared up. I'm getting frustrated and mean. That's it. Battle me. All right. Okay. Bring it on. Do it. So here we have Fisherman Andrew, and he's coming out with, of course, Magikarp. Just like I said, Magic freaking Carp, and uh, since Magic Carp won't do much, I'm just gonna howl, howl, howl at the the moon or something. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna howl because uh, you know, powering up that kind of stuff, it's always good. All right, 
right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Splash attack. It won't do. Oh my god, I'm getting splashed so much. Alrighty. I know, it's getting a little boring, guys. Yes, I get it, but you know what? I'm trying to I'm trying to one-hit this guy. I mean, Magikarp does have a very good defense. <gasps> and I just hiccuped. And nothing happened. And let's go for the tackle attack. Look at that. One hit KO. Eat it. Not much on experience points. And good God, I completely forgot about that guy right there. So he does have a tentacle. Let's go with that tackle attack. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Good how. Good boy. Look at that. Raid and kick it butt. And... He's got one more Magikarp, and this sucker is at level 15, so it might... Oh, it does no tackle. Alrighty. Tackle attack galore right here. Let's go. And I miss. Why? Why did I miss? Why? Here we go. Tackle attack again. Nearly makes him faint. Come on. And there we go. Say goodbye to Magikarp and uh, Raiden kicking butt right there. Look at that. God, I lost it. I'm even anno more annoyed now. You are? Hmm, okay. All right, so he doesn't give us his phone number. He's like, God, I'm still boiling mad. Grr. Okay, whatever. And talk to this guy. He's like, if you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Old Dale Town. Foo -foo -foo. That's useful, isn't it? That is true. That is useful. But unfortunately, we don't have the surf technique, so that's kind of... Right there. So that is pretty much it for this route right here, guys. Like I said, in the next episode, we will be going into the Trick Master's house. So stay tuned with guys. You know, stay tuned. I'll be back for another episode in just a little bit. See you guys.